Just recently, I came upon a cheap grill find on Facebook Market. One on Facebook Market. It's a Weber, but it uh, but it's missing a door. This is a Weber gas uh, Yes, yeah. This happened during Sleeper Barbecue's chat a few weeks back. So I ended up buying the Weber Genesis 3 burner for $40 and bringing it home. It did need some work to make it functional, so in this video we'll be replacing the temp gauge on the grill hood. Hey guys, today we are replacing the uh, temperature gauge on the Weber Genesis 3 burner. And this should be um, the same in all uh, Genesis models. So my Facebook find is a Weber Genesis E310 copper in color with three burners putting out 38,000 BTUs. Originally selling for $699, this particular model was made from 2011 to 2016. The temp gauge we are replacing today is 2 and 3 8 inches. It's the same process with the Spirit models 2 and 3 burners, but their temp gauge size is 1 and 13 16 inches. The links for both temp gauges will be in the video description. So let's get to removing the old temp gauge to install the new one. Now the wing nut was kind of stuck on with all that crud, but with some pliers I was able to remove it. So I got the uh, original off. Uh, it does have this frame around the uh, thermometer. You see how this one's uh, kind of just, uh, I guess the dial lost its uh, grip on the center there. Now let's compare the new generic brand to the old Weber one. The face style looks very similar minus the Weber logo, but the old Weber one looks slightly larger. Putting them facing each other, you can barely notice the size difference. Let me put them side by side. And once I lay them side by side on a flat surface, the size difference is more noticeable. So enough of the comparison, let's get the new one installed and see how it fits. Now the new temp gauge like the old one has a metal retainer in the back. So it only fits one way, so you can't get it wrong when you install it. Looks good enough, now let's get the wing nut on. So the wing nut's on, a perfect fit. It does extend uh, the same length, maybe a little bit more than the original. But yeah, the, as we close it, it looks very flush. This is about half the price of the uh, original Weber part. Half the price of the original one, but will it function properly? Let's see. And it's on, guys. Let's see how it uh, looks like it's starting to function. We were able to clean the burners enough to get the fire temperature to over 500 degrees. This is definitely a work in progress, but it was time to cook some meat. Yeah, we're well on our way cooking, guys. We got some ribs, some chicken, and some corn. Guys and gals, the food turned out fantastic, but there's still more work to do on the grill. If you want to follow me on this journey, make sure to subscribe, and your likes and comments are always appreciated. Remember to take care of yourself and each other. We'll see you on the next one.